Hello everyone, my name is Natalie Ledwell and this is The Inspiration Show. Uh, today on the show I have someone from our My Movies community, Marilyn Short. She's joining us today and she's going to be talking about something really interesting, not just essential oils, which a lot of us may be very familiar with, uh, but also how to use essential oils in, in conjunction with your Mind Movie. So uh, welcome Marilyn, how are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm fantastic. Great to great to have you here. So uh, why don't we start initially with uh, with your background and your story and how you got to working with essential oils? All right. Well, I was introduced to them by a secret pal who gave me some for a gift because she knew I was into holistic medicine. Mm -hmm. And then it's kind of funny. About a year later, I was in the process of we were in the process of adopting again and pursuing another adoption. And this time, we were um, viewing uh, many. Um, profiles of children in foster care and when you go through that process it tears your heart out as you're reading their stories and trying to find a good match for your family considering the children you already have in your home and as I was doing that I began praying that um, I would be we would be matched well with a child or children who that we would be able to support well that we would be a good fit for them and that we would be open to anything that we could have in our toolbox, parenting toolbox, to help them overcome whatever emotional, mental, or physical challenges they might um, come to us with. And it was interesting because shortly after they came into our home, um, I was exposed to essential therapeutic grade essential oils in a variety of ways, classes I was invited to. And um, it was so shortly after they came into their home that we decided to get more into them. And they've, as I've use them to help the children, they've ended up helping me tremendously as well. Right, awesome. So so let's talk a little bit about essential oils because a lot of people may not be familiar with, with what they are and what their properties are. So, yeah. so what what are they exactly? Okay, they're the lifeblood of a plant. So mm -hmm. just like we have blood that's water-based, um, the plant the blood of plants is lipid soluble or, or you know uh, interacts well with oils so it's not fatty itself but it's lipid soluble and it's like when you tear a plant sometimes you tear a leaf and a little bit of liquid oozes out that's the essential oil so it's the life force of the plant right so I'm assuming different plants have different properties exactly exactly they have a, each plant has its own um, naturally occurring um, constituents chemical right. constituents Okay, and uh, so so tell me about some of the or some of the properties or or how we would use essential oils. Okay, well, what's really cool is that they um, you can measure the vibration, the frequency of each essential oil, right? Mm -hmm. And so you can use them to raise your vibration. And actually, clinical research shows that essential oils have the highest frequency of any natural substance known to man. Um, what else is interesting is, well, I usually think of, we think of the blend joy oil as being a great one to raise your vibration. So every morning when I look myself in the eye, as you suggested in the USM class, which I'm almost through, um, I'm through week 11, um, every morning now when I say I love you in the mirror, look myself in the eye, I put joy on my heart to raise my vibration, just get off to a great start. But there's a chart that I uploaded recently to my website, um, transformationtoolbox.com, that shows the different um, frequencies of essential oil blends. And I looked at it the other day and noticed that forgiveness oil blend is actually much higher than joy, which is very interesting if you think about it. Oh, absolutely. That's fantastic. Because if you think about it, um, joy, I think when you get to a state of joy, I mean, that is a high vibration and, and you feel that. But I think to get to forgiveness is an even deeper emotion. Right. So maybe that's why it has a, has a stronger vibration. Right, right. So, um, so, so let me, so let me think about this. So, how, uh, so with the forgiveness oil, like, how do you use oils? How do you, how do you actually get to use them? Okay. So, well, like, okay, I'm in the midst right now of a massive decluttering, as in my own personal transformation and growth. Mm -hmm. And as I was actually just decluttering this area, which is where I'm sitting, is my my quiet time in the morning. And it was time for a decluttering here and so that it could serve me better, right, and feel better, help me be in my happy place, as you call it. And um, as I was going through the process of decluttering this office, this room, um, honestly, when I faced some of the clutter, I felt I started feeling really bad about myself, feeling guilty for the things I'd held on to, feeling guilty for the things I hadn't dealt with. And so I ran over to my bottle of forgiveness because I felt, and I forgave myself. Um, I took a moment to do that, to release that guilt that was holding me back. And also throughout the day, 
um, and the weeks when we have a critical thought in our mind or a thought of resentment towards somebody, um, then I've been being more proactive at using forgiveness to pause. And I also like to do the practice of Ho'opono. I don't know how to say it correctly, but Ho'opono. I know. It's the longest word ever. Ho'opono. <laughs> yes. Well, I mentioned it on my website because it's just a wonderful practice, a very brief, you know, forgiving yourself, asking God to forgive you, asking the person to forgive you. Uh, you know, we got to forgive ourselves for the harm we've caused ourselves by holding on to resentment. So that's a, like an important part of the process. And I like to practice EFT with open out, whatever you call it. And, yeah. and then I will be inhaling the, the forgiveness at the same time. So it's kind of a multifaceted. I just use the essential oils to boost whatever I'm intending at that moment. So... Um, and I use them, of course, in the mind movies, which I'm sure we'll get to in a moment, too, yeah. to enhance that practice. Right. So, uh, And so do you put the oils directly on your skin, or do you put them through a vaporizer, or how does that work? Yeah. So right here I have a diffuser going. Are you able to see the... the yeah, yeah, the so mm -hmm. yeah. So you're mixing the essential oil with water there, and it's being diffused into the atmosphere. So I'm smelling right now, I'm smelling clarity oil and stress away, because right now what I want to have clear thoughts as I communicate with you and you know, my nerves to settle my nerves a bit and support me. Um, so I use it that way. Um, I also like when I'm tapping um, or when I'm, well, I tap along with my mind movie, as you suggest in USM, to just give it that extra boost and listening to the music to engage the emotions. And essential oils, they also engage the emotions because they go straight to the amygdala, which is the emotional center of the brain. Um, without even having to go through the cerebral cortex for processing, like all the other senses, the sensory input that we receive. So it's really cool um, how they can engage the emotions, which you want to do during your mind movie, right? You've taught us, and if you watch The Secret, we know we want to feel the outcome of the images and informations in our mind movie, right? Yeah. So when we are, so what I do is I, to engage the emotions further is I'll um, just hold the bottle up to my nose and inhale straight from it, or I can put a couple drops in my hand, activate them like this, and cup them over my nose. And then as I'm watching my mind movie, I'm just inhaling that fragrance of, for example, this is present time. I love this blend. It smells like honeysuckle to me. And it's a present time because I want this, I want to believe that what the images in my mind movie are present, current, that I'm already experiencing them. My teenage son hasn't made his mind movie, which is awesome, and he loves to use the um, essential oil Believe when he watches his mind movie. And I also like to um, in inhale Build Your Dream. You can also, you know, apply them. Some of them can be applied topically. The, the label says on it how it can be used appropriately, So, and there are booklets and so forth that come with the oils to let you know that. Um, a little twist. Do you mind if I share a little twist on the kind of how I use mind movies as well? Yeah. Um, so you know, you know how you kind of want to, you want to keep it fresh, right? Sometimes I change the song. Sometimes I do, like I'll jump on the mini trampoline while I watch it. Different things to kind of make sure I'm continuing to stay really pumped up and really emotionally engaged when I watch my mind movie regularly. So the other day, I just had this inspired idea, and I went, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it up, and I'm gonna say instead of saying I am or I this, right, active um, present time statements. I'm just going to add I'm so thankful that to my mind movie uh, affirmations as I watch it. And I grabbed my gratitude bottle, my bottle of gratitude oil, and I thought, I'm just going to do it this way. So I said, for example, thank you for helping me enjoy quality time with my loved ones each day. Thank you for helping me easily manage my thriving, prosperous business. Thank you for helping my business transform the lives of many people in beautiful and amazing ways. And that's just what I did. And, you know, it really was very emotional, um, very positive. I was I was really charged up after that. So I just did it for the next few days. Yeah. Well, that's uh, it's a very important point, point that you bring up because being in gratitude for future events, yeah. um, you, you're actually wrapping that future event with this air of expectancy or this energy of expectancy, like it's already done. It's yeah. on its way. I know it's happening, and I'm so grateful that um, it'll be part of my life. You know, very, very shortly, which is really cool. I like that. So you, you mentioned before that you actually have a practice. So how do you use essential oils? You know, uh, medically or with, with, you know, what can if people have some kind of ailments or something? How do you use uh, essential oils for that? Right. So I do help people. Um, you know, use essential oils to support themselves, empower, empowering themselves to take care of their bodies, their minds, you know, and their emotions. 
And I have a website for that. Um, I support people through um, webinars, ebooks, um, you know, rep kind of just letting them know where different reference materials are for them. I have um, private groups to support the people who, who get their essential oils from me so that we can share with one another and encourage one another as we basically take charge of our health and wellness. Right, because that's the thing. I mean, we I actually we do a lot of work. We've been working with the Quantum University, uh, working with other integrative medicine practitioners. Because the thing is, it's very difficult when you're in a um, a, a place of disease or injury or pain. Uh, it's very hard to shift your focus away from what you're feeling in your body at that time. But mm -hmm. uh, but if you can take time to shift it and make a mind maybe to focus on healing, mm -hmm. or to focus on your future. Mm -hmm. um, or to focus on, you know, the most optimal version of health for you, then that can actually help to shift your mind away. Because the thing is, the more we focus on the pain or the disease or the condition, the the more that it becomes more of our reality and it, and it expands. Right. So, so let's talk a little bit about um, about essential oils and my movies specifically. So mm -hmm. so tell me a little bit more about how you're doing that. Um, let's see. So I like I said, I can you can I diffuse or I'm inhaling them or I apply them as I'm you know, doing my mind movie. And, um, oh, abundance oil is another one that I'll use, mm -hmm. um, which is basically was created, formulated specifically um, for enhancing the law of attraction in your life. So the oil, it's called abundance, and it is, so each oil blend, you know, has a frequency, right? And the, per the person who um, develops these blends for Young Living um, he actually measures the frequency and um, creates them on purpose right, with a lot of intention for, and I actually at first thought that was really weird. When I first got a cat, it's funny because I was so open to, you know, holistic modalities and so forth, but um, when I first got the catalog and I saw these ones that said like forgiveness and grounding and whatever, I thought, forgiveness in a bottle? That's just kind of weird. And even though I was super open-minded, I thought, um, I just thought it was strange and and I think a lot of people, a lot of people that I interact with, you know, they do at first feel kind of strange about those. And, and I wanted to, I thought, well, I don't have to order those. I can just focus on the physical like you had brought up earlier, which was kind of my first intention when I um, was getting involved, um, even though what I had prayed for emotional support for my children, right? But I didn't really make the connection. I hadn't made that connection yet. So then um, I did choose to... Um, Try, I finally, you know, kind of launched out, tried one. We were completely shocked by the results. Because sometimes you'll have results quickly, and sometimes it's more like when you practice it over time, using them regularly, you'll then notice a shift later. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so so I use them with mind movies. Basically, by, you know, like I said, I, as, I'm tap, as I'm watching my mind movie, I'll use it, the oil. And then throughout the day, when I you know, what's awesome about mind movies is when you have a thought that is not supporting your main intention, that's a distraction, that's old business, a limiting belief, mm -hmm. and it comes up in your mind. Whenever I'm practicing my mind movies regularly, it's awesome because I notice it sooner, and I can replace it with an image from my mind movie. I can take charge of my thoughts, and then I can go grab an essential oil bottle that matches with what I am wanting. That's the opposite of that thought, negative thought that supports that image and affirmation from my mind movie. Awesome, wonderful. Well, Marilyn, it's been awesome talking to you today. So if people want to connect with you and find out more about the, the oils and everything, where can we send them to do that? Okay, so they can go to my website, www.transformationtoolbox.com, mm -hmm. and I'm creating a special landing page. I've created a special landing page just for people who come to my website by watching the Inspiration Show to offer some special deals and offers just for you because I'm thinking the people here have um, a certain intention and desire for personal growth and transformation and right. I wanted to support them in that. So that would be www.transformationtoolbox.com backslash inspiration show. Wonderful. 
Uh, well, thanks again, Marilyn. It's been awesome uh, chatting to you. And this was a uh, quite a unique um, a, a suggestion, which I think is. I mean, I I've, I've been using essential oils for many years. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you were talking about in relation, I'm thinking, wow, I never actually put the two of those things together. That was yeah. that was really cool. Now, guys, remember if you click on the banner around this video, you'll be able to go straight through to Marilyn's website. Uh, make sure that you share this video by clicking the Facebook and the Twitter share buttons on this page and leave your email if you haven't done so already so I can send you the Manifesting with the Masters video e-course. It's actually valued at $87 and I'd love to send it to you for free. So until next time, remember to live large, choose courageously and love without limits. We'll see you soon.